Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Amanda. I'm a third year vet student and today we're going to be going over some of my favorite apps for vet school. After having completed two years in vet school, I've had a decent amount of time to try out different apps and figure out which ones I like best and which ones work best for the veterinary program. So I have a total of eight apps that I could not get through vet school without. I've broken them down based on which device I primarily use them for. You guys know that I mainly use my iPad to take notes and make study guides in vet school, but there's also a couple apps or extensions that I predominantly use on my laptop or on my phone. With that being said, most most of these apps are available cross-platform, so just because I use them on my iPad doesn't mean they're not available on a phone or on a Mac. These are just the devices that I personally prefer to use them on. I will make sure that I list them all down in the description box so that if you guys want to try them out, you can download them and see if they work for you as a student. So before we get into the video, if you guys want to see more videos talking about my vet school journey all the way from the application to getting my DVM, make sure you subscribe down below and turn my notifications on. And if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up it just gives me an idea of which videos you guys want to see on my channel so without further ado let's jump into the apps that I mostly use on my iPad I have a total of five apps that I use basically only on my iPad and the first one of those is good notes I use GoodNotes as my primary note-taking app, and I know there's a big debate between Notability and GoodNotes, but I started with Notability and I have liked it ever since, so I never felt the need to try out Notability. So although I can't compare those two apps in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why I personally think GoodNotes is the perfect note-taking app. Now I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I study best by annotating my lecture slides that are provided by the professors. GoodNotes makes this super easy because you can just directly download the PDF PDF of your lecture into the GoodNotes app. And then there are so many different tools that you can use to annotate your lecture slides. You can write directly on them or highlight parts of the slides. You can also add in images or diagrams if you feel like the content on the slide is not good enough for you to study from. This is honestly my preferred way of note taking in vet school. And for me, it's the way that I learn most effectively. So GoodNotes gives me all the abilities to do that successfully. The other thing that I really love about the GoodNotes app is the organizational abilities on it. It allows you to categorize your notes into different folders. And for me, that's how I typically organize my notes, whether it's on my computer or my iPad anyway. So at the beginning of the year, I just make different folders for all of my classes. And that is where I will store all of my lecture notes and study guides for that specific class. Overall, I definitely think GoodNotes is the most important app for me as a vet student, just because I do all of my studying on this app. So GoodNotes is hands down my favorite note-taking app. Let's Let's move into my favorite organizational app and that is Notion. If you guys have never heard about Notion, it is basically the ultimate productivity app. I have switched from using a digital planner to using Notion as my daily planner. There are hundreds of templates pre-made for you that you can download onto the app and then you can customize them or you can make your own template if you are creative enough. I'll be completely honest, I find Notion a little bit overwhelming because there are so many different ways to use it and you can honestly make some really complex templates. I'm not quite at that level where I am designing my own templates yet, but I just go in and I will find templates that other people have made and then I'll customize them to fit my life as a vet student or just what I really want to focus on. I use Notion not only to keep track of my important dates for vet school, but I also just use it to keep track of everything going on in my life. I use it as a recipe log and a meal planner, as well as a habit tracker and a to-do list. In terms of the way I use Notion for school, my absolute favorite feature is the master table that I've made to keep track of all of my assignments, midterms, and quizzes in vet school. At the beginning of the year, I will go in and I will add every single due date that I have for the entire year. And what I love most about this table is that I can categorize all my due dates based on the type of deadline that they are, so an assignment, quiz, or midterm. I can also categorize it based on the class that it's for, and I have the ability to add any extra notes about that assignment or any important details that I need to to keep in mind. I like to view this master table in a list view, but you can also convert it to a calendar view so that you can see a good overview of the upcoming month. Overall, Notion is definitely my 
favorite app for productivity and just organizing my entire life, not just my vet school life. And I'm really hoping to try out more templates and integrate more aspects of planning into this app. But like I said, there's just so many features that I do find it overwhelming at times. Now that we've talked about note taking and productivity, let's move into the app that I use for scheduling my time in vet school. Now this one is a little bit boring, I will admit, because it's just a pre-existing app on my iPad and that is the calendar app. I never felt the need to download a separate app to organize and schedule my time in vet school because the calendar app on my iPad or my laptop has all of the things that I would need in a calendar. At the beginning of the school year, I can actually download my school schedule directly from our university website right into the calendar on my iPad or laptop. And then once I have my schedule downloaded, I have gone in and made different calendars for every single subject so that I can easily color coordinate my schedule and just so that it looks nice to look at. I am definitely the type of person that likes to schedule every single part of my day. So I will basically make my schedule from the time I wake up, from the time I go to bed, and I'll schedule it around my classes. So once I have my classes entered in, then I'll go ahead and add in lunch breaks, workouts, other meetings that I have to do, or even YouTube stuff. Like I said, I don't really need anything super fancy when it comes to a scheduling or calendar app. So the one that's built in is perfect for me and what I need in vet school. But I definitely had to mention it in this video because if I did not have my schedule, I would be so lost when it came to life as a vet student. The next app that I'm going to talk about is actually a very veterinary specific app and that is the Plums app. So if you guys have never heard of the Plums Veterinary Drug Handbook, it's basically like the holy grail, the bible of drugs in veterinary medicine. And they went ahead and they actually made an app based off of their physical textbook copy. There is a subscription for this app, but I believe students get a discounted price of $4.99. And it's a year subscription, so I definitely think it's worth it if you are in an anesthesiology or pharmacology course in vet school. I'll be completely honest, I didn't use this app a ton in my second year, but I know I'm going to use it so much in third year because I'm going to be doing surgeries and creating drug plans for my patients. So I'm definitely going to renew my subscription for next year. This app has everything you could possibly think of when it comes to veterinary drugs. Any drug that you could possibly think of is listed on this app. For each drug, they go in and describe all the information that you could ever need about that drug, whether it be the mechanism of action, the bioavailability, or even the dosage for specific species. And a really cool feature is that you can actually favorite some of the drugs that you use most often for quick access. There's also a built-in calculator into the app so that if you're doing drug calculations, you don't have to go to your calculator app on your iPad or your phone. You can just do it directly in the app. And they've recently added a new feature, which is a drug interaction checker, which I personally love because there are certain drugs that you just can't mix together. And this app allows you to check all of the interactions to make sure that you're not giving drugs that should not be given together. Like I said, I didn't use this app a ton in second year and I definitely don't think you need it if you're not in a pharmacology, a toxicology, or an anesthesia course. But I'm so glad that I found this app before my third year so I wanted to include it in case you think it'll be useful for you and where you are in the DVM program. Moving on to the fifth and final app that I use mostly on my iPad and that is the books app. I have switched from using paper notes and physical copies of textbooks to almost 100% digital. So I needed to find an app where I could download PDFs of textbooks and read them on my iPad. As of right now, the Books app is the one that I personally like to use the most because it gives me the ability to annotate and highlight the textbook and write little notes for myself if I don't understand a certain concept. With that being said, if you guys have an app that you use to read digital copies of textbooks on that you personally like better than the books app let me know down below because i would love to try out some other ones because the highlighting and the annotating in the books app can be a little bit wonky at times but that's just me being really picky and at the end of the day it works and it does everything that i need it to and i'll be honest i don't know what it is but i personally find i learn better when i'm reading off of my ipad versus reading a textbook so i don't know if i'm the only one like that but the books app is a must for me when it comes to reading textbooks in vet school so those are the five apps that I predominantly use on my iPad. Now let's move on to the extensions or websites that I use mostly on my laptop. 
Like I said before, I use my iPad mostly for note taking and doing all my studying in vet school. So really the only things that I use my laptop for is responding to emails or watching lectures. The first extension that I'm gonna talk about is one I could not have gotten through second year without, and that is the video speed controller extension. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you know that my second year was basically 100% online and all of our lectures were just lectures we had to watch on our laptop. I found that I had a really hard time staying focused when I was listening to an online lecture. And one of the things that really helped with that was speeding up the lecture. And that's where this extension comes in. This extension allows you to speed up or slow down any video that is playing on your laptop. By speeding up the lecture a little bit, I really had to focus and stay Stay paying attention to what the lecturer was saying and I just found that it allowed me to retain more information when I was watching the lectures at a little bit of a sped up speed. Although it didn't happen often, I actually used this extension to slow down a lecture. I had one professor who talked a mile a minute and it was about concepts that were pretty challenging. So the fact that I was able to slow down his lecture and really understand the material he was teaching was absolutely key to doing well in that course. At the end of the day, Day, this extension just made me so much more productive and so much more efficient when it came to watching lectures and planning out my time. I could honestly get my lectures done in a shorter amount of time than what was scheduled by using this extension and it just gave me extra time to study or enjoy life outside of the program. So that was one of the main extensions that I used on my laptop. Now the second thing that I'm going to talk about is actually a website and it's called Life at Virtual Studios. Now this is not really an app or an extension, it's just a website, but I would use this every single day when I was studying. Because I was studying off of my iPad, my laptop was free for me to use however way I wanted. I personally like to have some background noise when I'm going through my notes and studying. So Life At allows you to pick a virtual study space and play some background music while you're studying. They have some really cool virtual settings. They even have one that looks like the Gryffindor common room. And I would love to put this up on my laptop just as like a nice little visual while I was studying. The coolest feature of this website though is that it has a built-in Pomodoro timer and you guys know I love using the Pomodoro timer when I'm really trying to be productive in my study sessions. So the fact that it is built into this website and I didn't have to use an additional Pomodoro timer, I could just use it while I was playing my background music was so cool. So if you like to have some background visuals or some background music while you're studying, definitely check out this website. They have so many cool different backgrounds and they have basically something for every Every single mood you're in. So those are the two main things that I use on my laptop when I'm studying. Now let's move to the app that I use on my phone. Obviously, I don't use my phone a ton while I'm studying in vet school just because uh, there's a lot of social media on my phone and I don't want to be checking it at all times. So my favorite app to lock me out of my phone and keep me productive is the app Flora. I will use Flora when I cannot seem to put down my phone or when I read a lecture slide and then pick up my phone, read a lecture slide, pick up my phone, and I feel like I'm getting absolutely nothing done. This app is so cute and it keeps me productive. And the way that it works is you plant a seed and you can set how long you want to study for. I normally use 25 minutes because I use the Pomodoro technique. So I will plant a seed and my 25 minutes will start. As you study over those 25 minutes, your flower or your tree will start to grow. Now the catch is that if you check your phone during the time that you've set that you're going to be studying, the plant that you're growing dies. Now, I don't know about you, but I just feel really guilty even when I'm killing virtual plants. So it honestly keeps me off of my phone and keeps me focused on whatever I'm studying. The other cool feature about this app is that you can add your friends and you can see how productive they're being. So I will put my QR code for this app up on the screen if you want to add me and we can study together. I think I'm currently on the North America tour and I'm growing a bunch of plants that are native 
to North America, but you can also unlock different quests and grow plants from around the world. I'm not using this app a ton at the moment, but once I am back to school in September, I will be on this app all the time so that I am not sitting on my phone scrolling through TikTok. So there you have it. Those are my top eight favorite apps that I've been using over the past two years of vet school. I honestly don't know how I would even get through the program without these apps. My life would be so unorganized. I would get nothing done and it would just be a disaster. So if you haven't tried out some of these apps, I would definitely recommend it because they have helped me tremendously in my organization and my productivity when it comes to being a vet student. Also, if you guys use any apps to help you study or stay productive, and I didn't mention them in this video, make sure you comment them down below. I always love trying out new study habits or study methods. And if you have any apps that can help me do that, I would love to hear about them. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.